So you know pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. So how far around a circle divided by how far across gives you pi. And ever since people first started to think about mathematics or geometry, pi has been one of the most fascinating of all numbers and applies in so many other areas of mathematics and geometry, of engineering, of physics. And it's driven some people absolutely mad in their attempts to understand it. Mathematical disc jockey Adam Spencer is a big, big fan of pi, a number that appears in the weirdest places. For example, take the sort of windy rivers that flow across gently sloping plains. It's not exactly clear why, but measure the actual length of a river, divide it by the distance from source to ocean as a crow flies, and the result is, on average, pi, 3.14. Pi. It's a God-given number, and it appears everywhere from probability to pendula, as pointed out by maths enthusiast Rob Easterway. Oh, and by the way, L over G is pendulum length divided by the acceleration due to gravity. The pendulum's swinging quite free, then it's always a marvel to me that each tick plus each tock of the grandfather clock is 2 pi root L over G. Now, maybe it's not such a surprise that in a pendulum you've got pi because, after all, a pendulum is a, a fixed stick and it's creating a bit of an arc of a circle. But there are other situations where you'd think this surely hasn't got anything to do with a circle. Let's suppose we're on a, a really big sandy beach on some desert island and you've got a very large rake and each of the teeth of the rake are exactly one inch apart and you just run this rake along the beach and you've can imagine you've created lots of parallel lines and you happen as well to have a matchstick which is exactly one inch long and you decide to start tossing this matchstick landing it on your parallel lines well if you do this experiment thousands of times the chance of landing on one of the lines is exactly two over pi if you conduct the experiment completely randomly